they say in uh, there's the, 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 the debate about Second Timothy three sixteen. What's what's the debate? It's it's about the Greek word the theo theopneustas. Theopneustas yes. or theonustas, nustas, yeah? What about That's theonustas means God breathed because nustas, pneuma, pneuma can mean breath, wind, or spirit. Yes, yes. So who uses that to prove the Trinity? You're confusing me. No, 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 I, I'm sorry, I, I said it the wrong way. Some people use it to disapprove the Trinity. Why? Because the God breathed. So okay. it is from him that he's, he's breathing the Holy Spirit to people. It's, it's not a person that is coming to them. He's, he's breathing it to Who them. Who said that God breathing means he's not breathing a person? Because are you saying God is a physical being? He has lungs and he breathes like you? No. So what does it mean that God breathes? God needs to take a breath? Of course not. So that's a very silly, stupid objection. Because obviously, when it says God breathes, you can't compare it to physical creatures breathing, like animals or humans. Because God is not a physical being. He does not have lungs. He doesn't breathe. So what does it mean, God breathes? That is correct. So what does it mean? He, he, he is giving his spirit. Yes. He is giving the Holy Spirit. Because let me, let me now show you how this language works. When you think breath, what do you think? Uh, I breathe air. Okay, so but what do you think of a breath, no breath, what happens? What does breath come bring to mind? To give. Let's try this again. Timmy is getting angry now. Oh, what sorry, do you I'm think sorry. when you think breath? Not how do you give breath? You give me breath? No. When you think breath, what do you think? Life. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. So when it says God breathes, that's simply biblical language to show that God sends the Spirit to give you breath and life. That is correct. That's all it means. Because when you say when God breathed, that means He's sending life to you. How does He send life to you? By sending the Spirit to give you life. That is correct. So why why can't the Spirit be a person that God sends out to give you life? I mean, what kind of nonsense is this? That is correct. Go to John because, six sixty three. Okay. So the arguments he shows witnesses. John six sixty three. The spirit gives life. The, the spirit does what? Gives life. That's why it's called the breath of God. Because when you think breath, you think life. This is God's life that He's giving you. And how does He give it to you? By sending the Spirit to make you alive. That is correct. You see it? Yes. The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. Now, Second Corinthians three verse six. Okay. He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. So you understand what it life. says, the breath of God? Yes. It's not literal breath like you breathe. Second Corinthians 3 verse 6 says, the spirit gives life. So Second Corinthians 3 verse 6 says, the spirit gives life. So God is not a physical being. He doesn't physical physically breathe. <sighs> When you speak of the breath of God, that's a metaphor. Because when you think breath, you think life. So when God breathes, that's simply a metaphorical way of saying God sends forth his Holy Spirit to give life. That's all it means. Did you get that your answer? Correct. I get my answer. And again, like you told me yesterday, we don't have to think in our human brains and our, and like, like how we think about life. Yes. Like breathing is not actually breathing. God breathes, he gives life. Yeah, That's the metaphor, as you said. of course, because he, unless you believe he's a physical being, he has lungs, he has a he has chest, he has a throat, he has a tongue, he has a back. No, that God it doesn't have that. Christianized Jeet Kune Do for apologetics. For apologetics. Oh, you scared me, Sharpell. It's Sammy Hake. Timmy, all right.